Welcome to GDP Physics and Simulation 2. This course is under Professor James Lucas at Central College. My name is Filippo Bellini and this is a video demonstration for Project 6. Project 6 is a tie-in with the final game gen project. It evaluates some of the physics aspects of the game such as physics, threading, capsule, and box colliders, and particles. Documentation is provided in the Solution Directory Documentation folder. Here you can find some of the comments that I wrote for this particular project. In addition to that, there is a draft for the final paper that I'm writing for this project, entitled Descent, a final project for the Game Development Advanced Programming Prof Postgraduate at Central College. There is a section for the physics. Some of the these are some of the features that are going to be present on the game jam, and there is, some of them are already present on this particular project. There is an entire section here about physics outlining some of the ideas that I had for this. So let's go to the binary folder and uh, run the, the game. So this project is a tie-in with the Game Jam project. I'll be going over some of the physics aspects that are more related to Project 6 than to Game Jam but uh, some of the, these ideas, they overlap. Um, on this topic, uh, this game has sounds, but they will be muted so I can comment over. Uh, also, I apologize for the recording setup. Uh, my computer just cannot handle um, recording and playing at the same time, unfortunately. So, I'm just gonna play the game. Um, here's our scene there's already some collision detection between the player and the walls uh, there's an enemy there and i'll be going over the first the first um, feature so uh, one of the features that i had for this project was the event callback the collision callback so what happens is that in the system physics for the custom physics engine um, i set up um, physics callback that returns to to the game or to whoever is listening to it um, returns the two entities that collided against each other so that's what happened here uh, a projectile um, collided with the the enemy and it also collided with the player as you can see the health counter of the player went down uh, both of these actions the enemy dying and the player losing damage are a result of this collision setup. Another example is when I open this door, when I touch the door, the door should open. This is triggering a uh, low animation. I'm continuing here. Okay, another enemy. Uh, there's another example here. This is an item in the game. Uh, it's a plane. It's uh, an imposter. Um, once I collide with this little guy, um, an event should trigger and as you can see the, the, the item appeared on the cockpit of the player. Uh, one thing to notice here, uh, notes that that door at the end of the corridor is triggered by this button and this button here is another feature uh, that I have implemented which is the box collider and we can see that this is in fact a box by using the debug rendering. We can press P to toggle the, the menu, then options, options, toggle physics colliders. And then we can see that there's indeed a box around our, our button. Um, I'm going to disable this and continue. So, if our player here collides with that, 
then the door that is currently closed will open. There you go. As I'm doing that, uh, also sounds are being triggered. Um, although you cannot hear this. Oh, here's a, another enemy. Died. Another collision event example here. Notice how um, the laser was changed to the WTW uh, cannon, WTW cannon, and there's another one here with with the hostage, another box. I can rescue the hostage by just going through the the block, and that collision saving the hostage also triggered the the boss. Uh, we cannot see anything here, but once we use the anti-cloaking device, we should see the boss. I'm gonna fight the boss and win the boss, so we can move on. Okay, so with the boss that um, there's another physics feature here. Uh, this thing here is the reactor. Uh, the reactor is a capsule. We can see that it's a capsule again by doing the same idea, toggling the rendering. We can see that there's a there's a shape that looks like a prism, right? This thing here is a capsule. Uh, another idea for this project was the particles that you're seeing here. These imposters are a bunch of particles that are overlapping each other to give this effect that uh, a ray is moving. This is something that I really like about this, this game gem project. Okay, so as we're leaving the game, also um, before leaving, uh, there's a collision um, event on the capsule versus sphere. So if I shoot, I destroy the reactor, the reactor will blow up and will trigger a bunch of things like the door being blown up. And here in this corridor now there's a ghost, ghost object that wasn't really promised for this project and it's not really uh, part of the sixth project, but um, nevertheless it uses the collision um, callback system. And once I go through it, the game ends with the ship flying into space.